guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be showing you my monthly favourites from February. I've got a load of beauty favourites, also a couple of random extras to show you as well. So all of the products will be listed down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and you want to see more favourites and let's get started. So my first favourite of the month has been the Body Shop Drops of Youth Liquid Peel Gel. It's a um, chemical exfoliator, which sounds really bad, but it's, it's not, it's really good. It's great for your skin. And it's more gentle than actually having one of the exfoliators that has the beads in it. Um, so this is what it looks like. And all I do is I just put two pumps of it into my hand, just like it says on the instructions and then I distribute it between my fingers, like that. And then you just rub it on your face, like so. And it says to rub for up to 30 seconds. You usually feel it doing its stuff before then. And what it does, I don't know if you can see, but all the dead skin kind of like balls up on your face. It looks gross. But you just keep rubbing and then all the dead skin balls up and it just gets rid of all your nasties. And you can do this up to three times a week. I just do it before I have a shower. So I'm just going to go wash this off my face now and then I'll be right back. So my next skincare favourite is the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for dry skin, luscious lips and glossy bits. This is 100% medical grade lanolin, um, I can see it. Um, so it's tasteless, fragrance free ad and additive free. Um, it also says that it's edible, I mean I wouldn't want to eat it because it, no. So it's multi-use, so you can use it on um, your lips, which is what I do and you only need the barest, barest amount. I don't even know if you can see how much I've squeezed out there. Like, what I've squeezed out there, you would only need half of that to do your lips, um, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I put this on my lips at the beginning of makeup, um, so by the time I put my lipstick on, my lips are all nice and moisturized. And it's also really good if you've got dry, cracked lips. It just renews them straight away. It's really, really nice. And you can also use it um, to moisturise your cuticles around your nails, you can use it on your eyebrows to you know, make your eyebrows stand up. I've seen people use it on top of their eyeshadow to give themselves that kind of like glossy look and also on their cheekbones for like more natural highlight. Um, so it's got many, many uses and it is really, really good. So I don't have any new favourites for primer or foundation. So I'm just going to go and do those off camera. If you'd like to see my um, favourites from last month, I do talk about my favourite primer and my favourite foundation in that video. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I've already done it and it's not changed. So I will see you in a moment. So I did my concealer as well because that's just the same as last month. And now moving on to contour. My, my favourite product for contouring has been the Contour Cosmetics um, Contour 2 palette. Um, so this is the multi-face contouring set. Um, I don't understand what they mean by that. But basically, um, this one has different colours than the original one. Um, so that's that. So it's got three contouring shades and three highlighting shades, one's like a pinky one, so you can use that to like colour correct, and then the other two are like paler, um, more yellow toned ones which are good for brightening. And then this is the shade that I use for contouring, and sometimes I mix this shade in, but it does turn me a bit orange, so I don't use that one on its own. And I've tried using this one, and that one is way too dark for me. <laughs> so I just use a Real Techniques setting brush um, to contour my face. And I'm literally just doing the contour today. I'm not going to bother with any of the highlighting um, just because we're going to the gym later and 
ain't nobody got time for that. This palette's really expensive, it's £42, um, but it is definitely worth it because the shades are so pigmented and so creamy that you're not really going to go through all of them that quickly. Um, I got this for Valentine's Day and it was half price, so that's what I recommend doing, waiting until they've got a sale on. Okay, so once I've drawn the lines on my face and I look like a strange human being, I just blend it out with my damp beauty sponge. Okay, so I'm just going to set my face off camera just to save time. Again, I still haven't found a favourite powder, um, so I'm just going to use the one I normally use, and that is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat um, powder in Ivory. So my next favourite is a blush. This is the NYX Ombre Blush, and this is in number 3, Insta Flame. It's a red and pink and orange ombre, and I have been loving this one gonna swell that onto my cheeks. Just like, bam, right. Just be very careful when you're using this one because it is extremely bright and pigmented. Okay, so if you do what I have done and put way, way, way too much on, I just take my powder brush, and I've not put any new powder on that, that's just the excess powder that's in it. And I just dust that over the top and use it to kind of blend it in. Then I just give it a quick smack with the beauty sponge, which is slightly damp, just to take off the excess powder. Now, moving on to highlight, my favorite product of this month has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. And then this is what you get inside. So you get six shades of highlighter. And my favourite shades are Pink Heart and Lucky Clover. So it's a pink tone and then a yellow slash green duotone highlighter. And I also really, really like Purple Horseshoe. And today I'm going to use Lucky Clover. Okay, so I'm back now, I've done my eyebrows. Check out my last monthly favourites for details on my favourite products. They'll all be listed down there. Um, so now it's time for eyes. And my favourite thing this month has been the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. So that's what it looks like. And then inside, it looks like this and it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you to my cousin for getting me that as a very, very early birthday present. I am very grateful. It's the best. Um, so this is 10, this is 10 pans of um, Jeffree Star's eyeshadows. So my favourite shades are this one here. This is Confession. So that's what that looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think that's everyone's favourite to be honest. Um, so my favourite shades are Confession, Expensive, oh my god, this one is beautiful, like look at that. I haven't been able to use it yet because I'm not brave enough, but look. Oh yeah, it's so gorgeous. And Violence is also my other favourite, so that one. Violence is kind of purple but it's also got pink in it as well it's really interesting so that's that one that was the worst swatch ever I promise you it's way more pigmented than that but that is that one those are all shimmery shades I am doing a tutorial on the makeup that I'm just about to do now so I'm gonna do that off camera and you can look forward to the tutorial coming soon and I will see you in a few minutes for a few hours, depending on how well it goes. Bye. All right, so this is the eyeshadow look. Don't forget to look out for the tutorial. It will be coming in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, la, 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 la. So now let's move on to lips. My favorite lip product, or I should say lip shade, because you know that I pretty much only use Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks at the moment. Um, my favorite lip shade this month has been Crocodile Tears. 
Um, so this is from the Christmas collection. It's like an emerald green colour. Show you on my hand. So I'm just going to show you on your on my hand because I'm not going to wear this lipstick with this um, eyeshadow look because it really doesn't go. Um, but this is great to be used as an eyeliner or um, if you just wear it on your lips you can pair it with a winged eyeliner it looks really cool it's really badass um, I have worn it in one of my videos which you should be seeing on a couple of days after this video goes up so you will see it in action then but that's what it looks like on the hand so that wraps up my beauty favourites and now on to my random favourites So I'm going to start off with hair. One of my favourite products has been the Batiste, um, what is this? This is the Batiste um, Rose Gold Dry Shampoo. I'm not really sure why they called it Rose Gold, I think it's just to get people to buy it to be honest because that's like really popular. On the back it says, say hello to our twist on the most covetable trend. Overflowing with fresh and fruity notes, this delicate fragrance will instantly refresh your hair, leaving it feeling and smelling irresistible. So it's not got anything to do with rose gold even, but it does smell quite nice. So if I just... Yeah, so it's like a light floral scent. Um, but yeah, I've been loving the old dry shampoo, and I just spray this into my roots pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I also use the Volumizing Dry Shampoo by Batiste as well, and it's really good, but I like this one for the smell. It does smell so good. But yeah, I use this on a daily basis, and then I only have to wash my hair on, um, like, once a week. Um, but yeah, the reason I only wash my hair once a week is because it's bleached, and the washing does a little bit more damage to it, so try not to wash it too much but I condition it a whole lot when I do wash it as well. So my next favourite has been the 100 Awesome Hair Days book. This is a book by Jenny Strebe. Um, she's a YouTuber. I think her username is Confessions of a Hairstylist. I'll link that channel below so that you can check it out. But yeah, basically this is a book for the everyday kind of person and it shows you step by step how to do so many different tutorials, uh, so many different hairstyles. So it has six chapters and each chapter is a different kind of occasion for hair. So you've got the casual section and then you've got out and about, and then you've got sporty, dress up, extra special and then problems and solutions. So the problems and solutions section tells you a bit more on how to like care for your hair. It's also got tips for um, different kinds of hair and different kinds of products as well. Um, so I actually did my hair using um, one of the tutorials in this book. So this is the waterfall twist braid. Uh, I don't know if you can see that at all, I'm hoping you can. I can't tell. Ah uh, yeah, so you can see here. But yeah, I just followed the instructions in the book and it turns out really nice. So I really like this one. Um, I actually got this book for Christmas and I do use it like all the time, it's like my favourite book at the moment. Okay, so now for some random um, clothing favourites, it's actually just one but I've got two of them so I'll show you them both. Um, this is a bralette from Primark, it's just like a lace um, non-wired bra. So I've got a pink one, like this, and then I also have a black one, and I've been loving these for just like wearing underneath a t-shirt or um, wearing for a night out because they're really really comfortable and they look good as well, like obviously it's not going to give you cleavage, that's a word to say isn't it? Obviously it's not going to give you like cleavage because it's not a push-up bra um, but they look really nice on so if you've got like a, a top or a dress or something where you can kind of like either see through it or um, I don't know it's got a cutout at the back or something these are really great to have they're only four pounds 
and they're really good and they're really comfy as well so that's why I've been liking those they also do a white one of this particular design but they've got like loads and loads of different ones they've got ones that come with underwear as well um, because I'm different size top and bottom I don't get the ones with matching underwear because then the underwear wouldn't fit me um, but yeah that's those okay so my very very last favorite um, is this this is my planner this is a happy planner by the brand um, me and my big ideas um, so I've decorated the front of mine with some washi tape I don't know if you can see that and a sticker that's also by me and my big ideas so this is basically a fully customizable planner um, I got the 12 month one but you can also get one that's undated I got mine in January um, but I didn't start using it until the end of January so what I'm doing in the beginning of January is my 10 goals for 2017 so on each page I'm kind of doing a piece of artwork and um, one of my goals so this is my first goal for 2017 is to move out so me and my boyfriend want to get our own place and this is what we want to do this year it's gonna happen um, I haven't really done any of the rest yet but that's what I'm gonna do and I'm probably gonna cover up my first page that I ever did because it's just boring and I don't need it anymore but the reason I love the this planner is because you can decorate it as you go along so me and my big ideas do sticker sets specifically for the planners as well and washi tape so here I started doing a bit of um, brush calligraphy um, using a brush pen. I have a set that I've got from WH Smith. So that's that. But yeah, it's just a load of fun to to decorate. I don't know if you can see that. At all. So this is my plans for today. So here I'm put film my favourites video, and then I've put a little inspiration sticker to get me motivated. And then as you can see here, it's got yoga at 7.30. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym before that, so that's that. The other thing that's good about these planners is you can just um, take the pages out and then put them where you want to. Me and my big ideas also do extension um, kits. So you can get a six month extension kit for your planner and then you just add that in. Um, you can get a wedding planning extension kit, you can get a recipe and like health extension kit and one for fitness as well and you can also get like plain paper and um, lined paper inserts as well so it's really good because it's just so customizable and then if you run out of space like you've got too much on your um, in your planner you can also get larger rings for it um, which I thought was really handy so that's why I like this one so much. And to go with it, I'll just show you some examples of some stickers that I've got. So I've got these three sets of stickers. I've got the rose gold, the seasonal bumper pack, and then the color coordinated bumper pack, which is a brand new one. So I'm gonna show you that one. So it just comes with a load of pages like this and see like they're all colour coordinated so you can create some really nice spreads in the planner and it's got gold on every other page and like foiled stuff on every other page which I really like as well but yeah I like that for all the different colours that it's got. And then the rose gold one is actually the sticker set that goes with my specific planner. Um, but it's just got inspirational quotes and um, bits. And it's all pink, turquoise and um, gold, obviously. And then it's got little bullet point stickers as well. And then these are things for like reminders and appointments and to-dos. I've got another one of these, and um, this is just the one that I haven't really used very much of. So yeah, there's more, and then that's the last page. So yeah, it's just really, really nice stickers in there. And then I've got these seasonal 
bumper pack of stickers too. So this has like Christmas and then it's got like a little collage page. Christmas and New Year. Then it's got Halloween and Autumn. So if I just show you the Autumn page like that. It's got more Halloween and Autumn. Then you have Spring and Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. Um, as you can see, I've used this one quite a lot already. It's the Spring ones. I'm sure there's one that said like Happy Mother's Day or something. Ah, there you go. So yeah, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day as well. And then after that, it is summer so then it's got like really bright things got ice creams and all that jazz the last pages you have some weather stickers I've not really been using these it's not really something I'm interested in and then you have birthday celebration stickers and these are really handy because you can just stick one of those in on someone's birthday in um, in the calendar on someone's birthday and it looks really cute so yeah um, me and my big ideas is an American brand so it's more difficult to get in the UK but I will link some websites below where I purchase my planner and like bits for my planner from there's a couple of different websites um, you can also go on Amazon but it's way 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 more expensive to get it from Amazon and then if you're in the US or any other countries, the best place to go is the Me and My Big Ideas website um, because they do ship to several different countries, I think. But I will link them below as well. Um, but yeah, that is my last favourite. Dun, 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 dun. That's all the products that I've been loving in the month of February. Let me know down below what your favourite product has been this month. Also let me know if any of the products that I've mentioned are your favourites. That's good to know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more favourites. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.